Hello Pisces. So this is your September 2020 reading. Okay, so please keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone and that's okay. Please check your sun, your moon, your rising sign. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, also, I wanted to tell you that I will be talking to um, Pisces directly, okay? And if you are a cross watcher, that's fine. You're more than welcome here. However, um, if there is a message in here for you, I will let you know, okay? So with that being said, let me call in my spirit guides, my higher self, to guide and protect me in this reading and to let me be aware of the message being given to me so I can give that to you, Pisces, okay? For September 2020 in love. What's happening? As I step out of my energy into the collective's energy, this is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're dealing with the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's happening? What's going on, Pisces? Spirit Guide, show me the message for the highest good. Oh, wow. Okay, so this card has been coming up a lot. This is Gemini. This is the lovers. This is um, committed. Okay, but it's not... It's committed, yes, but it's also um, a twin, like twins, twin flame energy, um, mirroring each another, okay? This is partnership, a connection, getting to know each other. We have the Eight of Wands. So there could be some confusion, okay, uh, within the communication. There could also be traveling as well. Um, in this card, there is a tornado in the background as she holds up a wand. There's seven wands in the background. So there is basically action being taken. And um, I feel like there is somewhat of a um, communication to settle the ground, to settle after the storm. So there could have been a tower moment, okay, indicated by the uh, twister in the background. Pisces. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups here. So someone is feeling lonely. Someone is feeling as though as uh, they didn't show up. Someone didn't show up here. Um, Pisces, I feel like they desire you. I do. I feel like, you know, they want to take you out. They, they feel you on an emotional level. Um, if there was a third party situation, whether it be friends, family member, um, co-workers, any kind of situation, fear even, uh, I feel like this person wants to come back to you, wants to apologize as well. Okay, Pisces, let's see. So we have a completion, okay? So there's a phase that has been completed within your connection, okay? within your journey, um, feeling free. This is an energy of feeling free, feeling like you have su success. This is um, victory, okay? This is victory, this is success, this is messages coming your way, good news as well. Again, we have the two of wands, and wands are action, okay? So we have a major arcana here. Um, we have the five of cups. Let's see if you can see that. So this person here is debating which way to go. There, he holds the world in his hand. Okay. Um, now this is challenging for this person because this person has a connection between another and I do feel like either this person has left you or this person will come back towards you okay they do want partnership with you on the bottom of the deck Pisces we have the seven of Pentacles okay so perhaps you know this person was going through um, Pisces you know 
this could either be you or the person that you're dealing with that you're not seeing okay so they could be um, you know waiting for you to reach out or vice versa this person could be taking up a new course a new study um, you know making things elaborate is what I'm hearing um, you see she ha she's holding grapes and there is a glass of wine there so this person is really it kind of reminds me of temperance it's about having patience as things prosper okay um, this is finances career as well because of pentacles but it's also you know very grounded taking care of what matters and making it into something very special okay so this is almost time almost harvest time in um, in October okay you'll be uh, reaping the rewards Pisces so we have the five of cups here feeling confused okay very stagnant what are we gonna do I have you know this person I'm I'm hearing like I had these three cups in front of me one is about to be offered to me but I don't know what to do with these three cups this person has to make a decision feeling as though as this person's been stabbed in the back by someone um, someone has either left you or you have left them Pisces I'm really feeling as though as you've been the one that has been stabbed in the back Pisces and you know the person they did I feel like they had passion for you or they are just up to no good okay um, there was an ending but this ending leads to new beginnings okay this could be a blessing in disguise as well this could be Gemini energy So we have the King of Cups, um, Pisces, this is definitely you. I do feel like someone is, um, you have someone in mind here, okay? Um, you're, you have this playful energy about you, um, but you're filling up with emotions here. Um, I feel like, Pisces, if you did leave this person, I feel like they they want some kind of uh, new beginning, okay? They wanted freedom, or you wanted freedom, but now it's like, where are you? You know, it's like you're looking for this person. Um, and, and you're realizing this person basically has a lot of love for you, okay? This could be soulmate energy as well. So, maybe, the, okay, this is in your challenging position, Pisces, with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles indicates, you know, collaborating together, making something that is a masterpiece. Um, this is also comparing, but also bringing in the final touches to your journey, to what you want, okay? This is about learning a new skill as well, okay, and perfecting it. So there's work that still needs to be done here. We have the tower moment. So the tower moment is someone coming in. I'm feeling like this tower moment, this could be someone just popping right on into your life, okay? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but it is something that's going to shake things up all around you, okay? Um, this could be it, it either, I feel like it's gonna be in um, the physical form without a text message i feel like this is like a face-to-face -face talk you know a conversation let's sit down let's have a talk you know and they definitely come in at the time when you need it okay on the bottom of the deck again we have the seven of pinnacles someone is waiting to hear from you this is you or this is your person They've gained knowledge. They've gained a lot, okay, within the time. You could have been apart seven, seven days, seven weeks, possibly seven months for some of you. However, I feel like it is basically harvest time for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pull some more cards here just to clarify. 
for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so someone is coming towards you. Someone has manifested this, or you have manifested this, Pisces. This is action. This is taking action. This is turning, you know, water into wine, okay? Um, as you see, she holds that wand over the water. So it's like she's summoning, she's calling. She's calling on her twin flame. So we have the Eight of Wands with the Ten of Swords. So there was some sort of bad communication, or there was some communication towards someone that left heartache, okay, that left pain. You could be dealing with an air sign. However, this news came to you, um, and it hurts, okay. But it, it's a three, so it is short-lived. But as you can see, this, this heart is stabbed with these three swords. Someone has made a decision to either walk away or to send some sort of communication to you. Um, I feel like this person really did hurt you. Um, this was a transformation. Someone had a change, I'm hearing. Okay, it's not all is what it seems with the moon. Um, we could have moon in uh, Gemini, uh, Scorpio, double Scorpio, okay? But what I'm seeing here is this is um, Cancerian energy. This is full of emotions, you know? You're full of emotions. They could be full of emotions about you or you're seeing things. You're not realizing. Maybe you're, you're seeing this person on social media having the time of their life, but really they're not, okay? Um, they really miss you, and I do feel like they want to see you. Now, with in the challenging position, we have the world card, which something needs to be completed. There's work that still needs to be done, and with the king of swords here, this isn't no lie, you know? Um, this is truthful. This is honesty. This is... Um, Gemini coming through strong again, especially with the lover's cord here. We also have a Libra and Aquarius too. So this is about learning a new skill, staying in line, um, using your intellect rather than your spirituality. This is somewhat hard for you, okay, or somewhat challenging for you to, you know, really speak your truth or this could be thin. What I'm feeling here is that someone is really working towards a better future for themselves. Brushing up their skills is what I hear. Okay, then we have the Six of Pentacles. So, this person is really going to come back in and be caring and be giving. Um, someone could be wearing glasses, or they could have glasses, short hair. Uh, they always carry books, possibly. Um, this person, something about socks. I don't know why, but maybe they don't wear socks with their shoes or, you know, they wear shoes that don't need socks. Whatever the situation may be. Um, I'm hearing a lot of give and take here, okay? And this is really going to be like, wow, you know, for you. It's really going to be like a... a um, an eye-opening moment so especially with the five of wands so this is you know collaborating maybe something didn't go as planned but that's okay because this is learning something new okay you have to mess up to proceed to move forward okay and that's the only way that you can gain your skill and learn from it the hermit Yes, so this is Virgo energy, but this is also someone who is contemplating within their spiritual self, um, knowing their self, um, thinking about their past, thinking about uh, you, Pisces, and how things w went wrong. I feel like this person is realizing they use their ego, possibly. Um... So what I want to get here is I want to clarify this Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords. 
so judgment. Maybe someone judged you or you judged them. Um, but this is, you know, making that call, making that call to leave, uh, to find peace and resolution as well. Uh, let's see what the King of Cups is. I'm getting two cards. Sunshine. Basking in the sunshine. Um, commitment. This person's very committed uh, to what they do. They feel very committed to you. You could be married to them. You could be engaged. This person wants to take you out um, in the sun, possibly by some water. Um, there is a baby here. I'm seeing a picnic table here. Lots of cups. You know, we have the chin of cups with the sun. Um, sunflowers. You guys are definitely um, a very strong energy, a very committed energy, and you have lots of good times together. Um, with the feminine and the masculine energy, with the sun and the moon card here, it's follow your bliss. Don't let anything hold you back because spirit is with you all the way. Um, your emotions, as you raise your vibrations, you are attracting um, high vibrational people, relationships, your soulmate towards you. Okay, Pisces? On the bottom of the deck here is the Nine of Pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with, they could definitely be a Virgo, but they could definitely be, like I said, reading, studying, um, you know, wanting to brush up on their skill as well, um, learning new things. I feel like for some of you out there, you could have uh, went to the hair salon. I'm seeing red highlights. Wow. Okay. Um, Maybe you like to eat uh, grapes, drink wine. I'm seeing a lot of plants outside. Maybe just some meditation outside, you know, sitting under a tree. Uh, like I said, it is harvest time. It is ready. Um, yeah, very strong energies right here, okay? Maybe I feel like it could possibly be for some of you. Uh, they had to go away for work. Or, you know, they had to travel somewhere and I feel like they're coming back. And they're very, very happy, okay? So, let's look more into this person you're dealing with. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, we have house. You guys could have a house together. Pisces. For Pisces, the person they're dealing with in love, Pisces in love. Okay, a message. So a message will be brought to you to your house, okay? This could be a man, a wealthy man. They could be sending you money. They could be sending you um, something that's going to... And then we have number 13 again. And 13 is coming around a lot, okay? Because we have 13 full moons in 2020. So you can expect... A blue moon huh so this is a wealthy man something that you're not seeing maybe they they found um, a new job uh, and they want to tell that to you they want to give to you they're happy about this okay um, I do feel like some you, you know this relationship that you were having with this person I want to get one more because with this Ten of Swords here, yeah, I feel like something ended, or you thought that it ended. Yeah, it ended because this person had to go somewhere, okay, or you had to walk away. Um, it was a hard ending, but it, it, it was it was supposed to be. Whether you were in a karmic relationship or not, you would know. Okay, for some of you, it involved marriage. For some of you, this person was married. Or you could have been dealing with a person that, you know, they were married and uh, possibly they just told you this and it was like, oh God, I got, you know, this has to end, okay? So, I feel like they will tell you or they, they will open up to you, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, about what is happening. It may cause a tower moment, but it's going to open up new doors for you as well. Okay, we have a div 
divine masculine right here who is by some clocks okay so this is about timing it's all within divine timing let's get one more card so wow yeah this message is coming to you within time okay i feel like it's going to take possibly uh They're learning something here. They could be learning something in a new business, okay? They could have lost their job as well that is going, that could be, you know, a sign with the Ten of Swords here, okay? And I feel like this person is standing strong. This could be a library. This could be somewhere where they do study a school or something, or this person could have changed schools as well, or within time they could move closer towards you with their job. I don't feel like this person is seeing anyone else, Pisces. I just feel like things are happening um, in sequence within divine timing. And uh, everything's going to work out like it's supposed to. Not like it's supposed to, but within the divine timing, you guys will be together, okay? I'm going to pull some romance angel cards to see what they have to say for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Definitely, we have an ending, though, and I feel like, you know, it's two endings, so it's either one ending that, yeah, because we have separation. So, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. On the bottom of the deck, we have calling in your soulmate. So, I feel like this person has left, okay, either a marriage, or they could have left you for, uh, uh, to go look for another job as well, or to go to school, okay? Now, we have asked ask for and accept support from your friends, so that could be helpful towards you, okay? Um, you could be meeting someone new through your friends as well. Um, now, this person could be separating themselves from everyone, from their friends and from you, because this is... We have the, uh, the coffin here again, and it indicates of study, and there could be a change, a change in direction, okay? Yes, with finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? A lot of you guys are, you know, working through these problems. Um, also, I feel like you guys are, you know, just learning each other in a more perspective way, and also uh, a preserved preserve preserving yourself um, your relationship as well not giving up standing strong so we have fake profile liar scammer creeper alert <laughs> do a background check not genuinely interested not who you think So someone is, like I said, this person or someone is holding back their feelings. They could definitely be holding back their feelings. Uh, they could, for some of you, if you're looking at this person online, um, I don't feel like you need to think about the situation. Time is needed, okay? But with this fake profile, I really want to... They think it's a total connection, um, but also this is not necessarily a breakup, okay? Um, you guys, with this fake profile, this could definitely be them, you know, saying I, they're not telling you the truth, like, you know, like they lost their job or like something happened within their finances and career um, and they have to break away and you feel like it is um, a breakup or a, a total loss, okay? Well, it's not, okay? You guys just need some time because on the bottom of the deck here is, you know, we have commitment and you guys are like, look at the locks. You're a lock by the heart, okay? 
You're not dating other people. This is a life partner. So I hope this helps you. I do want to pull one card for you. This is uh, Monology. The, we have the full moon, the, the uh, corn full moon that's going on right now. Spirit guides, guardian angels for Pisces. Okay, so basically you have a good foundation here between you and your person. You're accepting the separation, okay? Um, it's telling you to accept it. That's a positive thing. But yes, it does hurt because there is heartbreak, okay? Um, but keep your mind staying in focus. Don't get too tied up into your emotions here. Have that balance within these energies. These energies are very strong while your person is away. We have a lot of blue energies, a lot of, a lot of water here. And again, this is a blue moon. So expect the unexpected. And we're getting that a lot okay because things are happening and look anything is possible okay you guys pisces my pisces um this person is is you know don't close your mind off don't close this off this relationship is not ended there's work that needs to be done here whatever was said whatever ending that was said um I feel like it was, they had, they had lied to you just to protect you, okay, but they're gaining, okay, um, and they want you to gain as well, so I hope this helped you, please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, thank you so much.